How we doing everybody and welcome to the first game in week 3 of the CWB season. We had a very eventful first half of the season, now we're on to the second half, which of course is week 3 in playoffs. Got a lot on the line here today, Sluggers looking to win both games to get the one seed in the American League. Tornadoes looking to just win one game to stay in the playoff race, both games to uh, have a good chance to make playoffs. So both teams are looking to fight today to, to get what they need. Let's take a look here at the Sluggers lineup. Sluggers rocking a two-man lineup here with Nicholas Campbell, the notable rookie, and Brady Shemek, also a very notable rookie. Most notable player missing for them is Vincent Martinez, their coach. Moving on to the Tornadoes, they're missing Evan and Jesse this week. They're rocking a three-man lineup. All these players, it's their first game of the season. Gavin Richmond's acting head coach today. He was a league veteran from last year. This is his first appearance of the 2020 season. Vincent Campbell making his first appearance in a CWB game. Sebastian Silva, we've seen a lot from him in spring training, but this is his first CWB game. As I said, both teams are missing key players, so this should be very interesting to see what happens. It's anyone's game. Now let's head on down to the field for the game. Game one of the series here, Nick Campbell at the plate, Vincent Campbell in the mound. Starting things off, the first pitch of the game. And that ball is hit to right. It is in fair territory. Nick Campbell rounding first, going second. He's going third. He wants it all. He's coming home and he is out of the plate. The Tornado's defense gets the ball in. What a play. I mean, what a way to start a ball game here, folks. Nick Campbell gets out going home. Brady Shemek now. He will swing and miss for strike three. Two outs here, Nick Campbell, and he'll take ball four, low and inside. Brady Shemek to the plate. He will swing and miss an outside pitch. And that'll do it for the top of the first. Bottom of the first here, 0-0. Zero, zero. Ball four inside to Gavin Richmond. Vincent Campbell here, first at bat of his career. He will strike out the pitch from Nicholas Campbell. Sebastian Silva now taking his cuts of the season. He hits that one of the pitcher out at first, advances Gavin to second. Gavin Richmond now. He will take ball four, low and inside. Still two outs, two with runners on first and second. The pitch will be inside. He'll take ball four. Bases are loaded now for the Tornadoes. Sebastian himself with bases loaded, an opportunity to score. He will, he'll take ball four up high. Tornadoes get on the board first, 1-0 is the score. Gavin Richmond to the plate here, trying to extend this lead. He won't as he strikes out. And that'll do it for the first inning. Tornadoes lead 1-0, Sluggers taking their at-bats. Nick Campbell at the plate for the second inning. He'll take ball four outside. Brady Shemek to the plate here. He'll swing at that one right through the legs of Sebastian. Would have had him a second. And now all the runners will advance, second and third. Nick Campbell at the plate here. He will take ball four up high. Brady Shemek now to the plate. Bases loaded, and they'll get on the board here as he takes a walk. Tied game, one to one. Nick Campbell up. The pitch, he will swing and miss. One out. Brady Shemek, he'll swing and miss. Two outs now. Slugger's still trying to capitalize with these bases being loaded. They will as he gets hit by the pitch. Sluggers take the lead, 2-1. to one. Brady Shemek to the plate here. That one will hit him. And another run comes across, 3-1 to one Sluggers. Nick Campbell to the plate here. He hits that one deep to center field, going back and it is gone. Nicholas Campbell with a shot deep to center field in the trees. Let's take a look at the replay on this one. 
just the rookie Nicholas Campbell. He just clobbers that thing in the center field. It was gone the second it came off the bat. Brady Shemek here, and he will swing and miss at the third out of the inning. Tornadoes get out of it, but they did let up seven runs as they try to recoup here. Vincent Campbell, the batter, will take ball four. Brady Shemek pitching. Sebastian Silva here at the plate. And that one will just nick the strikes on the pipe. Pipe it up, baby. Yeah, Richmond here will just chop that one. It just stays fair. He gets first here, and Brady Shemek is just jogging there. He'll get second. And Vincent Campbell will get third. I'm trying to argue it a little bit. Oh, wait, what's this? He picks it up and pegs him at third. Oh, my God. Can we look at that replay? What a play by Brady Shemek. He sees that ball. It's in fair territory. Vincent Campbell just off the back, and he pegs him at third. That's one of the best plays I have ever seen in the CWB. Vincent Campbell now back up to the plate, and he'll take ball four inside. Sebastian Silva here. He will look at the changeup, and that'll be three outs. Tornadoes get nothing in that inning as we get to the third. Third inning here. Slugger's looking for some insurance. That first pitch will be inside. Ball four. Brady Shemek to the plate, and that one will be almost hit him, and it'll be ball four. Nick Campbell to play with first and second. That one will hit him. Bases are loaded for Brady Shemek. Bases loaded, no outs for the rookie here. He will take the hit by pitch. Slugger get another run across this inning. Nick Campbell to the plate. He'll hit that one to third, and all runners are safe. Nick Campbell with a single. He's a double away from the cycle. Brady Shemek will pop that one out to right, and that is one out as Gavin Merchman makes a catch. Nick Campbell to the plate here, looking for the cycle. He'll hit that one deep to center field, and it is gone. Nicholas Campbell, the rookie. With his second of the game, a deep shot to center again. Let's look at the replay. He just hits that to center. Beautiful swing right on the sweet spot of the bat. And man, this rookie is electric. Brady Shemek to the plate. He will take ball four low and outside. Nick Campbell here. He will pop that one to the pitcher. Oh my god, what a play! Sebastian Silva just dives to make that play. Let's look at the replay. And he sees that, you know, he has to dive here. And what a play. One of the best catches I've seen in all of the CWB. Gavin Richmond on the mound here. And he will hit Brady Shemek. I don't know why he took out Sebastian. And he will, he will put him right back in. Very strange move here. And that ball's hit to left. And it is off the fence. He's going second. He wants to double and he'll get it. And Nicholas Campbell, for the first time in CWB history, has hit for the cycle. This rookie is the definition of electric. A single, double, triple, and two home runs. Brady Shamek will take the hit by pitch. Nick Campbell, the rookie who already just made CWB history, is up. And he will hit that one deep to center field, going back at the track, and it is gone. Nick Campbell, his third grand slam of the game, just after hitting for the cycle. What can't this rookie do? He's having one of the best outings I've ever seen in CWB history. Just amazing stuff from this slugger's rookie. Brady Shemek to the plate. He will hit that one to left. And he is going second, and he will get himself with a double the tag, just not on time. Nick Campbell to the plate here. He will hit that one. To left, it is at the warning track and caught. Almost had his fourth of the day. And that'll do it for the top of the third, if you hit the bottom of the third. Tornadoes need to have nothing less than a miracle here as the first pitch is lined out to left to Nick Campbell. Vincent Campbell now trying to get it 
get on here. He will hit that one to left and another line out to left field. Two outs. Tornado's down to their final out here, and Sebastian Sibyl will, will walk to get on base. Gavin Richmond now at the plate. He'll get a lob. He'll chop it to left, and they will not make the play. And he will get second on that. I'm sorry, he'll get third on that. Vincent Campbell here. He'll get hit by the pitch. Bases are loaded. Sebastian Silva. The pitch. And that one will get him. Sluggers win by an astonishing 19 to 1 score. What a game for the Sluggers. Game two here, after that first game win, the Sluggers clinch playoffs. Tornadoes need to win this now if they want to have any chance at making playoffs. Vincent Campbell starting things off here. Nick Campbell on the mound, the pitch. Get him, strike three, looking. Sebastian Silva now, and he will swing and miss, strike three. Gavin Richmond to the plate here. The pitch will, he'll look at it, strike three. Nick Campbell, three up, three down, all strikeouts. This kid can hit and he can pitch. Nick Campbell now at the plate here, coming off an amazing first game. That one will be lined out right to the pitcher. Brady Shemek now at the plate. And he will get hit by the pitch. Nick Campbell back into the play here. He will strike out, swinging, and the bat flies out of his hand. Brady Shemek to the plate. He will get hit in the leg for ball four. Nick Campbell with runners on first and second. Way outside, and he will take ball four. Base is juiced for Brady Shemek. And Shemek will look at ball four way outside. Slugger's get an early lead, 1-0. to zero. Nick Campbell will look at ball four outside. 2-0 now for the Sluggers. Brady Shemek trying to add more onto the lead. And he will by getting hit by the pitch. 3-0 Sluggers. Nick Campbell here. He will hit that one to left at the warning track and caught by Sebastian Silva. Tornadoes get out of that. Three runs. Second inning here. Pinta Campbell to start off the second inning. He'll look at strike three. That's four up, four down for Nick Campbell. And outside, there goes his perfect game with the walk. Still has a no-hitter though. Gavin Richmond up. He will take ball four up high. Runners on first and second. Vincent Campbell now to the plate. He will take ball four. Bases are loaded for Sebastian Silva. Sebastian here still trying to get his first hit of his career and he'll get hit in the head, but not a base hit. But he will get a run in. Three to one. Gavin Richmond here. He will take ball four up high and inside. Vincent Campbell to the plate here. He will get hit by the pitch, and we have a ball game, folks, as it is, as it is tied. Three to three is the score. Bases are still loaded. Sebastian Silva still seeking his first hit of his career. He'll get it with a hit to right. One run's coming across. Two runs are coming across here. And the Tornadoes take a lead 5-3. to three. Sebastian Silva breaks this game open with a single to right. Gavin Richmond here trying to get some more runs. And Nick Campbell will spike that to the ground for ball four. Bases are loaded for Vincent Campbell. He will take ball four. Another run comes across. Sebastian Silva up. What happened here is he lined this one to the pitcher. They made the out of first, but two runs came across. Then Gavin Richmond struck out. So the Tornadoes took an eight to three lead and that ended the inning as we head to the bottom of the second. Bottom two here, eight to three is the score. Brady Shemek strikes out. 
hit Campbell to the plate here. He'll swing at that riser, hit onto left, and they make the play. What a routine play there from the Tornadoes. Brady Shemek with two outs. Hits that one off the fence in center, and he will get first base. Nick Campbell here. He will get hit by the pitch. Brady Shemek, ball four off the riser. Nick Campbell up. He hits that one to left field, and it is gone. Nick Campbell, the rookie, with his fourth homer of the day, seventh of the season. I mean, we're not talking rookie here. We're talking MVP stuff here from Nick Campbell. Four home runs in this series. Amazing stuff. He knows what he's doing at the plate. Gavin Richmond had to leave early, as you can see him exiting the field, and that ball is hit onto left. They're going to need him there, and uh, Brady Shemek will get the second on that hit. Nick Campbell going for his eighth homer of the season, if he can do it, and he won't there. As a strike three, we head to the third inning. Hit into center. Play it, play it, play it. As you could have heard, the lightning alarm went off at the park. And we were unable to finish the game. Because we played more than two innings, the game could be ruled complete. And it's a win for the Tornadoes. They pick up a much needed win for their season. Uh, week three, pretty good. I think I did pretty good on my part. Um, I just need to pitch better. I did good for the first inning in the second game. But yeah, um, I had a cycle. Like a lot of home runs. Pitching was pretty good on their part. And yeah, we should have won that second game though. Going forward, we need to win those games in playoffs. So yeah. All I can say is, wow, that was an action-packed series from these two teams. Both of them played really hard in the first game. Sluggers won by an astonishing amount of runs as they just demolished the Tornadoes. Nicholas Campbell made league history, hitting for the cycle. Absolutely amazing performance by those guys in the first game. Then in the second game, Tornadoes sneak by and get a win off the Sluggers, their second of the season. All three of these people, first games of the season, and they managed to pick up a win. I mean, just absolutely great wiffle ball we saw today. Um, obviously not so much in that first game if you're a, if you're a defense fan. But uh, all in all, a very great day of whiffs. Uh, both teams, you know, got what they kind of needed. You know, the Sluggers need at least one win to, to have a chance at getting the first seed. And the Tornadoes are still in the playoff race, depending how Week 3 goes with the uh, Tornadoes versus Titans game, which will be coming soon. All in all, a very great day for wiffle ball. And we thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope to see you in our next video. Have a nice day, guys.